Hi guys, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to do some um, garlic and pepper chicken in my pressure cooker. I've never done this one before, so we're going to go through this together. This is two pounds of chicken thighs. If you want to use breasts, it's the same amount of time. Eight minutes. So I'm going to put some uh, pepper on my chicken breasts. I've got my pressure cooker heating up so I can just brown these a little bit. I just don't like the looks of gray meat after it's cooked. Or even meat that just doesn't have any color in it. I, I like color. Alright, so I've got that. Here's some garlic powder. I'll put a little of that on there. Let's see what else I'm going to get. I'm going to put a little bit of um, paprika and some salt. So since I want to do garlic chicken, this is garlic salt. And I'm looking for my paprika. of it and now of course it's it's not around can't find it I actually had a nice big tin of um, smoked smoked and it was hot and smoky and uh, that's what I was going to use, but I didn't get it out ahead of time because I know right where I put it. It's just, here it is right in front of my face. Goodness gracious. All right, so I'm going to shake some of this on. And uh, then I'm going to mix this chicken up. If I can get the container open. That's not going to help. Maybe this will do. Got a knife here. I'm trying my best to get this thing open. It's got one of those tops, those old timey kind of tops that I'll show you. See that? That you just pry up. Well, heck, it's hard to pry. So I'm going to sprinkle this. Now this is a smoked hot paprika. Now if if all of you have one, if any of you have this elite pressure cooker, which is what I'm using, and everything's preset on it. I called the manufacturer about this, and uh, ev all the everything cooks in here at the same temperature. They have just preset the times for you. Just, um, I guess, for beginners or people that aren't comfortable with setting their own time. Well, I don't use the presets. I, I everything cooks at the same 
same PSI. So uh, all you have to think about is how long do you have to cook it. Well, these thighs are going to take eight minutes, but I'm going to brown them up first. So I got some oil going in here. And uh, as soon as these get browned, we'll be back. All right. For those of you who don't know how to brown in your Elite 8 quart cooker, you just put the setting on um, brown rice, put your oil or whatever in there, and then when it starts, when it gets hot, when the oil gets hot, put whatever you're wanting to brown in there. And um, so you can see this browned up real nicely. All right, two pounds of chicken. You're going to need... Um, and I told you, these are thighs with the bone in. If you're doing boneless breasts, it'll be eight minutes, the same amount of time. And I'm thinking, I'll have to get back with you if it's, if it's got a bone. All right, now this takes a cup and a half of liquid to cook. So I'm just going to put the whole can of, uh, this is chicken broth putting the whole can in there and I'm also I'm doing chicken and peppers now and what I bought at the store is um, the heat of blend peppers that are frozen already sliced up and everything for me and I'm going to leave them frozen because if I don't, they'll turn to mush. So you're going to put these frozen. Let me show you. Let's see, can you see that? It's just fajita blend. It's just frozen peppers and onions. So I'm going to get part of these. I'm just going to pour them in there. And pour more than you think you'll need because... Uh, whoa, that's probably enough because um, when they cook, they, you know how it is, they cook down to nothing. All right, I'm going to close the lid on this, and um, I told you I don't use the presets, so I just set the time, close the lid, lock it. They go down here to where the minutes are, which is right here. And I'm doing that right. Whoops. Pressure cook time first, then minutes. Got it on eight minutes. Hit start, and we'll be back. Hi, I'm back. The time is up, but I thought I got out my little um, cook time reference for all of you that like breasts. If you were going to do a, a, a two pounds of, well, any size of breast with a bone, you would need a half a cup of liquid and you would uh, pressure it 12 minutes. If it was frozen, you'd add eight minutes to that. So if it was frozen with bones, it would be 20 minutes. Boneless breasts, any amount you put in there, you still need a half a cup of liquid and the cook time would be eight minutes, but if it was frozen, it would be 15 minutes. So that's just for all of you guys that would rather have a breast. All right, this calls for a quick release. Now I may be surprised because because I've never done this particular recipe before, we may both be surprised. I'm letting the air out. And we're going to open this up and see what it looks like. And hopefully it'll look really good. Because I guess this is 
you know, a little bit southwestern here. I don't know why they didn't give any amount at all for the breasts. In other words, you're not confined to two pounds. But with the thighs, it's for two pounds, it, you know, you, you, it's eight minutes. So, in any case, if those were frozen, you'd add another eight minutes to it if the thighs were frozen. So that would be a total of 16 minutes if I had frozen thighs. But with the breasts, it didn't matter. It said any amount. You need a good timetable. That would be, you know, ideal. I hope these peppers are okay. We will soon find out. I got some rice going. I wanna, I'm gonna see how much liquid I got in here to see if I can make a little slurry and kind of uh, get something to put over the chicken and rice. So we shall see. All right, I think I think that's got it. I'm gonna have to pull this out some. Open it up. And you know, they should have made this particular model. And I told them when I called the, uh, the company about overriding all these presets. I said, y'all should have made this so that the top, when you open it, it opens on one side so the steam doesn't hit you in the face. Oh, plenty of liquid. In. And the peppers are fine. Yeah, they look fine. Let's see our chicken. I'm going to take one out. Just in case I need to do a little surgery on it. Well, I'm going to do some surgery on it, that's for sure. But we're going to cut it open. Let's see. Can you see my plate? Why no? Let's see. There we go. We're going to give this a cut and just see if it's done in eight minutes. Sure does smell good. Well, I'm going to cut right down the center. It's done. It is done. Oh, and it's so tender. All right, I'm going to pull the rest of them out, and we'll be back in just a bit. All right, here's my chicken. I made some rice, my favorite sticky rice. So I'm going to get, grab a piece of this chicken and place it halfway on the rice. I decided not to make a slurry out of the, the juice that was in here. I'm just going to pour this juice. Can you see this? over my rice. Sorry about that guys, I had to change the battery right in the middle of my little video. Um, I'm sorry, I turned on the wrong light. Turned it off actually. This is the meal. I just poured the um, what was left in the pot over my rice, which I didn't quite make it. But <laughs> this is our meal. We've got the, the veggies, we've got the rice, and the chicken. And I already tasted it. It tastes wonderful. So give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. Um, get back with me. Give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe. And subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, thank you for coming back in and spending part of your day with me. I appreciate it every, each and every time and love your comments. So until I see you again, you take care. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to say. This model, for those of you that have this model, this Elite 8 Quart Platinum Pressure Cooker, all of those preset times are set for three pounds of whatever you put in there. Uh, it doesn't just mean three pounds of meat, it means a total of three pounds. So if, you're th if whatever you put in there isn't getting done, it's because it weighs more than three pounds. 
And that's why I don't use the presets. But that's just FYI. You all take care. Bye-bye.